In this video, we're not going to talk about the fact that there's all of this redstone underneath the portal thingy in the deep, dark, ancient city. However, I am going to point out that it doesn't work and it's completely broken. I'm sure that won't attract the warden. Be afraid of the deep dark, the warden just leveled up. New moves, new music, and no more llamas. All of this and more is available in this week's and last week's Minecraft Bedrock Edition 1.19.0.26 and 1.19.0.28 betas. Hello and welcome to a Minecraft Bedrock Beta update video with me, Foxy No Tail, on the 20th of April 2022. Minecraft Beta 1.19.0.26 for Bedrock Edition was released with new features features, items, blocks, and a whole bunch of fixes, and I was too busy to get into it. Then today, on the 28th of April 2022, another beta, Minecraft 1.19.0.28, was also released, with even more features. So let's get into it, starting with the Warden. Less sniffing, more anger, new drops, and a sonic boom. The Warden has seen a lot of changes over the last couple of betas, and it will no longer sniff for players while it's locked onto a target, meaning it'll spend less time dawdling around and more time chasing you. It also had its anger level updated towards projectiles and has been given an amazing ranged attack called the Sonic Boom, which prevents players from digging into a hole, hiding behind walls, or pillaring up in order to take advantage of its limited attack range. The Sonic Boom will do 10 points of damage, or 5 hearts, and it can fire every 2 seconds, so you better be good at running if you want to escape that one. And even though they said it would never have an item drop, it now has an item drop, but the main developer of the Warden agrees it's not not a very good drop. The drop is a single skulk catalyst, and according to that developer, the only reason this was added as a drop was to make these useful blocks renewable so that everyone has an opportunity to make a skulk-based XP farm. Speaking of skulk blocks, the skulk catalysts and skulk shriekers have been buffed to match Java Edition's blast resistance and they can no longer be pushed by pistons. Neither can the skulk sensor, which seems like a bit of an odd choice considering its use in redstone contraptions. Moving away from the skulk and over to the LA, the LA now has a new throwing sound and a bug was fixed that prevented stackable items being stacked after the LA had thrown them to you. Speaking of fixes, a very temporary fix intentionally added a bug into mud blocks, preventing in entities sinking into them like soul sand does. This allows frogs to pathfind over them properly and according to the changelog this is a temporary fix until a proper pathfinding fix has been implemented. Speaking of frogs, frog lights now have the correct breaking time and will drop the right blocks when broken by any tool. Tadpoles can now be lured using a slime ball, although in my testing my slime only seemed to be attracting the frogs. And finally in regards to frogs and all things froggy, frog spawn now gets broken by flowing water. Think of the children being flushed away. Sad news. The good news on the other hand is that there is more vanilla parity changes in these betas, particularly focusing on shulkers which are now fire immune, stay the right way up in boats and minecarts, and will spawn correctly when other shulkers are at relative negative y and x axis, whatever that means. If you're enjoying this video make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future update videos. A host of new music tracks as well as a brand new music disc has been added in for 1.19.2 and the music disc known as music disc 5 has to be crafted from disc fragments which are really found in ancient cities. Finding 9 fragments allows you to craft the music disc which can be listened to in a jukebox and it sounds a little creepy. <laughs> Speaking of creepy, creeper farms are back. In a recent beta, spiders were able to spawn on buttons, completely breaking creeper farms, but that's now all in the past as this update fixes that problem. And speaking of problems, finally, the wandering trader llamas will no longer be persistent after being unleashed from the wandering trader, so you shouldn't find your world littered with llamas after a few days in game. Continuing with llamas, tame llamas can now breed after being fed hay bales, so if you're missing having a world full of random llamas, at least you can create your own now. Finally, the mangrove propagule has been fixed so you can't bone meal it forever and mangrove trees will no longer grow through obstructions above them. Mangrove wood types now properly prevent leaf decay and the tree foliage has been updated to match Java Edition. If you're not a fan of the mangrove trees, don't worry, you can now burn them all down with your flint and steel as a bug preventing mangrove 
wood from burning has been fixed and mangrove wood can now be used to craft campfires and smokers. As usual, there's a whole bunch of other technical changes and tweaks, including fixes for touch controls, fixes for the sun in RTX mode, and stability and performance updates. If you want to find out more, then you can check the change logs link below, or head over to foxynotail.com where you can see in even more detail exactly what's changed in each version. For instance, did you know that in beta 1.19.0.28, 69 different fog files were updated, changing how fog transitions when you go underwater? And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out this one because I think you'll enjoy that one too.